time now for Truth or Fake, our daily fact-checking segment. I'm joined by Catalina Marchand d'Avoir. Catalina, good to see you. Now, in today's segment, Catalina, Italy's Mount Etna volcano erupted last week, and so did the fake news. Tell us more. Indeed, Fraser. Uh, Mount Etna filmed yesterday omitting more CO2 than man has ever created. Uh, these are the claims that have been circulating on Twitter since May 25th, uh, following the eruption of Italy's Etna volcano on May 21st, uh, together uh, with this video that shows this volcanic eruption of Mount Etna. And this tweet has been retweeted over and over again, mainly by accounts known for sharing uh, misinformation and conspiracy theories. Uh, for instance, this one, Silvano Troda, who has uh, the same claim and the same video, and another account that's been many times in this segment, so keep an eye out for this one, called Brainless Partisans, who says, uh, calling all carbon tax supporters. In a 12-hour period today, Mount Etna sent more uh, CO2 into the atmosphere than uh, be prepared all human activity since humans first crawled out of the swamp. Brace so up. I think I know the answer to this, Catalina, but do these claims have any level of accuracy to them? Well, first of all, uh, we searched for the image that we see in the video in the viral claims, an image uh, that we found published on uh, February 17th, 2021 on the BBC, where they write, Mount Etna, ash clouds as Sicilian volcano uh, erupts. So an image uh, that belongs to the Etna's volcano's eru last eruption from 2021, not 2023. Here's a comparison of the video of the images and the fake claims and the video in the BBC from 2021, where you can well verify that these are the same images from 2021, not 2023. So reason enough to be suspicious of these claims, uh, claims that can't even be proven, uh, because according to expert uh, Patrick Alla, who says that poor weather conditions uh, this time actually prevented uh, the measurement of CO2 emissions during this year's Etna eruption, uh, and the operators of the Italian National Institute of Geophysics and volcanology weren't able to even approach uh, Etna's volcanic site since these CO2 measurements usually have to be taken in an atmosphere that is uh, transparent. Fraser. So theoretically, though, could a volcano eruption emit more CO2 than humanity has created? What do the experts have to say on that? Well, we spoke to expert Cathy Clairbeau, who is director of research at the CNRS, and we asked her if any type of CO2 emissions from a volcanic eruption could be greater than that of humanity, as they say in the claims. And here's what she had to say. The emissions of volcanic accumulated for a century has led to 20 CO2 and we can compare that à la France, qui depuis un siècle a émis à peu près 32 gigatonnes de CO2. Mais ce sont tous les volcans sur toute la Terre depuis un siècle, comparé à un pays. Et donc si on rapporte ça aux émissions de l'Etna, et à une éruption de l'Etna en particulier, eh bien les, les, les émissions de CO2 sont vraiment ridicules par rapport aux émissions liées aux activités humaines. So she well said, Fraser, you heard it. She said that the CO2 emissions of Etna's volcano eruption is ridiculous compared to the emission, emissions of all human activity. Uh, and in fact, according to recent data from uh, NASA annually, uh, human activities produce about 100 times that of the carbon dioxide of Earth's uh, volcanic eruptions. And on the contrary, uh, volcanic eruptions actually uh, play an important role in cooling the planet uh, uh, but unfortunately, this isn't the first time nor the last uh, that we will see these claims. Here we have uh, two examples from last year in 2022 uh, where these users, for example, says uh, a single little burp of Etna has already released into the atmosphere more than 10,000 times uh, the CO2 that humanity has released during its entire stay on Earth. So uh, clearly manipulative claims that obviously lack uh, scientific backup investigation and research. Fraser. Castellina, once again, debunking everything for us. Thank you so much for that, Castellina, with Truth or Fake.